The first signs of human life emerged in Africa about 7 million years ago. Homo sapiens, the first modern humans, evolved from their early hominid predecessors between 200,000 and 300,000 years ago. The first modern humans began moving outside of Africa starting about 70,000, 100,000 years ago. Hominids continued to evolve and develop unique characteristics. Their brain capacities increased, and approximately 2.3 million years ago, a hominid known as Homo habilis began to make and use simple tools. By a million years ago, some hominid species, particularly Homo erectus, began to migrate out of Africa and into Eurasia. Between 70,000 and 100,000 years ago, Homo sapiens began migrating from the Africa continent and populating parts of Europe and Asia. They reached the Australian continent in canoes sometimes between 35,000 and 65,000 years ago. The Stone Age was a broad prehistoric period during which stone was widely used to make implements with an edge, a point, and percussion surface. The Stone Age in Azerbaijan covers the period from the appearance of the first human, the 6,000 years before our century. The Stone Age in Azerbaijan is divided into several periods, Paleolithic, Mesolithic, and Neolithic. Paleolithic Age in Azerbaijan covers the period from the appearance of the first human that are 6,000 years before our century. The Paleolithic Age in Azerbaijan itself is divided into three separate periods, Lower, Middle, and Upper. The Lower Paleolithic Age covers the period from the appearance of the first human in Azerbaijan to the 100,000 years before our century. In this period, the climate in Azerbaijan began to moderate. During the Lower Paleolithic Age in Azerbaijan, first humans lived in natural caves. These are the main monuments and caves of the period. Azuk Cave in Karabakh, Taglar Cave in Karabakh, Damjili Cave in Kazakh, Gubustan in Baku, Darsalahli Cave in Kazakh, Zar Cave in Kalbajar, Gazma Cave in Nakhchivan. Azur Cave is the most ancient human settlement in the Caucasus and is one of the most ancient caves in the territory of the former USSR too. The researches in the cave was carried by a prominent researcher, Mehmed Ali Hussein. The cave was discovered by a Paleolithic archaeological expedition of the Azerbaijan National Academy of Science under the leadership of Mehmed Ali Hussein in 1960s and is considered to be the site of one of the most ancient locations of proto-human presence in Eurasia. A Neanderthal-like jaw bone found in 1968 is assumed to be over 300,000 years old and thus one of the oldest proto-human remains found in Central Asia. Its discovery gave rise to the term Azir Nail. Archaeologists have suggested that the finds from the lowest layers are of a pre ashelan culture that resembles the Olduran culture named after Tanzania's Olduvai Gorge in many respects. The cave is now considered to have housed some of the earliest groups of proto-humans in Eurasia. The cave consists of 10 cultural layers. The fourth layer of the cave is a dumb layer. No human footprints have been found there. Layers from 5 to 10 of the cave cover the shell period, which is an older period. Middle Paleolithic Age covers the period from the 100,000 years ago to 40, 30,000 years ago. The production of stone tools was improved. The stone industry of that time was called Oivalua. The main occupation of the population remained hunting. The study of features showed that the basis of the economic activity of the population was hunting for a variety of game. Around 200,000 years ago, Middle Paleolithic stone tool manufacturing spawned a tool making technique known as the prepared core technique that was more elaborate than previous Oshelon technique. The main caves of the period, Axlor in Spain, Neanderthal Valley in Germany, Bisatun Cave in Iran, Darsalahli in Azerbaijan, Aterian in North Africa. According to researchers, the presence of a fourth layer 
in the Aziz cave between the fifth layer and the third layer, which did not provide any material, was due to the loss of life. Azuhan frogs left the cave about 200,000 years ago and returned 150,000, 120,000 years ago. The return of people to the cave was due to the cooling of the weather. This is confirmed by the absence of the remain of heat-loving animals in the fauna. More than 2,000 stone products and thousands of animals' bones were found in the Muster layer. Bazai, flint, basalt, and sometimes hornbeam, jasper, chalcedony, and other rocks were used to make the tools. Obsidian was also found the first time among the rock type used. It is believed that the obsidian was brought to the Gurchai Valley by fluid water from the Kalbajar Mountains. Otherwise, the Azukan tropes had to travel 150 kilometers among high mountain ranges to reach the deposit in the Kalbajar Mountains. This was not possible at that time. Upper Paleolithic Age covers a period from 35,000 years ago to the 12,000 years ago. As a result of the retreat of glaciers, people in many parts of the ancient world, including Europe, came out of caves and settled in open camps. Mammoth bones were used in the constructions of houses in Europe. Drilling houses were also used during this period. In the Caucasus, the Upper Paleolithic camps are mainly found in caves. The Upper Paleolithic camps of Azerbaijan are represented by both caves and open camps. Labor tools belonging to the Upper Paleolithic period were found in Damjali, Zar, and Gobastan camps. During this period, the giant deer and the cave bear were approved, and people became more interested in Caucasian deer, gazelle, roe deer, mountaineers, and etc. They hunted animals. Due to the mixed material and cultural samples in the Damjali cave, the tools of the Upper Paleolithic period were identified on the basis of a typological method. The drip is made of Upper Paleolithic scrapers, cutting tools, and obsidian. All the tools are located in the Garabai region, between the Shaudah and Murovdah ranges, on the left bank of the Tartar River, at an altitude of 2,000. 119 meters above sea level. The cave was destroyed by treasure hunters. During the research carried out by Mansurov in the destroyed area, 152 items made of obsidian were found. A study of Upper Paleolithic monuments showed that during this period, tools were made by new technical methods, unlike the previous ones. The achievements of the Upper Paleolithic period were developed in later periods and have survived to the present day. During this time, the tools of labor were improved, clothing and housing were mastered, without which the future development of mankind could not be imagined.